Hi, my name is Carola and I am biking around Europe for one year and sometimes I stay in really interesting places like right now but this is a story for a different video. I want to tell you today about the time I was staying in a circus wagon in Denmark. I did not expect it the way it went in the end. It's a really cool story. I am so excited to tell it to you but let me start at the beginning. The weather on my arrival day was so windy so I was super tired when I arrived but seeing this place woke me up immediately. The couple who owns this bought two circus wagons and created this amazing camping place and Airbnb where you can find a really nice fireplace and wood which you can buy to make a bonfire. A tent that is used as a common area with a fridge that is stocked with everything you could want here. They also have a stone oven and a washing station but this is only for emergencies because there is also a bathroom which is part of the house that is right next to the circus area in which the couple who owns it lives. You could definitely tell that this was created with a lot of attention to detail. I just kind of expected like a camping bathroom but this is so nice. I'm so glad that I chose this. But let's get to the main attraction. The circus wagon. This is the bed. There is also a small seating area and a kitchen with a fridge and you can also cook here if you want to. What a fun place to be. I actually didn't really think about um, like how cool this place would be so it was a pretty cool surprise when I got here. It kind of reminds me of like summer camp, um, like the smells of the tents and like all that stuff. I don't know, it just feels kind of nostalgic without <laughs> ever having been here before but I'm really glad and I'm gonna enjoy my night here. The wagon was so cozy at night and I slept really well. The next morning I met Carlos, who created the place with his wife and told me more about their efforts to make it more sustainable. Then I met his wife. The, the circus stopped, it went concourse. I had to own it, but I didn't know what to do about this. Uh, and then we have this green piece uh, area here. And then we decided why not make an Airbnb uh, place with this circus break. And the year after we bought one more from the same company. And well, now we have uh, its third year, we have it. and. Uh, we like it very much. I try to keep it, not to, to change everything for new, but try to keep it in this way they lived. They actually lived in these rooms, they lived two people. And I thought, well, it's, it could be fun for, for other people to, to try this. So the craziest thing just happened. We got to talking and um, she told me that she is actually going to a church event tonight. That sounded really interesting. And she offered for me to stay here one more night for free so that I could join them. And I'm so excited. So I brought my bags back into the wagon and turned my biking day into an editing day. Later that day, I met up with Carlos and Maria who took me to their church. Everyone there was really nice as I don't speak Danish, I didn't understand most of the message, but I had some really great conversations. Afterwards, we went to a small group that Maria and Carlos are a part of and I felt so welcome there. It was honestly so special. I will never forget it. I'm so overwhelmed by all of the kindness that I have experienced tonight. It was such a great night. I felt so welcome and everybody was so open and just really sweet so i'm really really glad i stayed another night i'm so grateful that maria and carlos let me stay here for another night i really really appreciate it this is such a special place i'm going to link to the airbnb if anybody is interested in visiting i would highly recommend it i think next time i would also come with friends because this is like a really fun place to hang out with friends, have a bonfire, and have some marshmallows. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think I will definitely be back. If you want to find out where I'm staying right now, you should hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments if you would sleep in a circus wagon.